kids, how you doing? It's me, your TV pal, comic book man, with your January 2010 calendar of savings here at Alternate Reality. The big event for this month is, of course, the Essential Sale, which is going on from the 18th through the 22nd. In the Essential Sale, all my omnibuses, all of my masterworks, all of my archives, all of my essentials, and all of my showcase trade paperbacks are all 35% off for the entire run of the sale. And of course, the 20th of this month is also Founders Day, where everything in the store is 20% off. And finally, don't forget, Hulk is the hero of the month, where all the Hulk trades are 25% off. That's all this month here at Alternate Reality. I will never understand any of this, but here's your fight news with Bo and Comic Book Man. I am the biggest damn liar in the whole United States. Fight News, Episode 18. The doubt comes with fries or baked indifference. Hey kids, how you doing? Comic Book Man here, your TV pal. Welcome to my video outhouse. It's time once again for MMA Fight News. And I'm being joined as always in the video outhouse by... Bo, also your TV pal. And because I've gotten so many cards and letters from you kids saying what a great job oh, you think yes. I do on oh, Fight News. I got a hernia picking up the mail. Just, just reading stuff. Because all you kids love me so much. Because you kids love me so much. I've got a special surprise for you. And here it is. He's back. And apparently so is this miserable hat. Would you get rid of that, please? Okay, that's right. Pete don't wear no hats. His, uh, Pete don't wear no hats. Not in the fight world. Not in the fight world. Real men don't wear hats. Well, hey, I'm wearing a hat. Oh, okay. That's much better. Anyway, <laughs> as has been led, you've been led to believe, we are here to bring you fight news. Yes. And joining me, joining me once again... Is Bo. Bo's. How are you doing, kids? So tell me, Mr. Cephas. Yes. What's new in the land of the MMA? Some guy named Anderson Silva is going to be fighting. Anderson Spider Silva has not healed up from uh, his elbow problem, so he's not. So gonna he's be not going to be fighting. He's not fighting Vitor Belfort on February sixth. This 6th. was my mistake. They don't know when he's going to fight because his elbow's not healed up yet. Uh, but Silva's not fighting yet. Just taking a while. He he's needs healing. his elbow. He's he, healing. He, it's kind of hard to fight without he's your elbow. He's healing. Right? Yes, yeah. I hear they use those as weapons. You need elbows. So. You don't so have them, it's kind of hard to throw a punch or swing or anything. Yeah, it would be. It, it, plus, it hurts. It would hurt, too. One one guy not suffering from a hurt elbow is B.A. Baracus. Well, well, that's not right. No, well, yes, yes, actually, correctly, yes, yes. Yes, yes he is. He's playing B.A. Baracus in the 18th film. He's already done shooting. That and would be? Quentin Rampage Jackson, who said he was retired from MMA. Well, he changed his mind. The movie's over with. Men he's are so coming, fickle. He's coming back. He will finish off his UFC contract. And he will be fighting Rashad Evans at some point, probably in the summer. Somebody else who does have a fight is Matt Hughes. I hear he's taking on one of the uh, plethora of Gracies that run around this thing. He is fighting the newly signed Renzo Gracie. He's fighting him on April 10th in Abu Dhabi. Honest yes, the UFC has basically broken the barrier there, fighting in Abu Dhabi. Abu Dhabi. Man, this is going to be, I hope it's an out, not an outdoor show, or this could be some sweaty-ass people out Well, there. I got a hunch there's going to be some sweaty-ass guys oh, anyway. Well, we'll probably fight probably inside. There, I guess, still, I will sincerely hope it's so. It's Abu Dhabi. Unless they're going to fight at night. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm telling you, these Gracies, they're like cockroaches. There's they're like, everywhere. There's like 127 of them. In fact, after the apocalypse, there's going to be cockroaches and Gracies. It could be. And Keith Richards. That's for all. Well, absolutely. UFC, WEC, they're hosting live events. They're hooking up. You know, the WEC, which is a subdivision of UFC, they fight on Versus. Uh, this year in 2010, UFC will be doing some shows as well. They'll be doing at least two shows. It will be UFC fight night type specials. Uh, one thing that people need to get clear right away, you will not see WEC fighters and UFC fighters fighting on the same card. Not going to happen. They don't mix the streams. They don't pretend. They don't cross the doesn't streams happen. because that would be bad. Because you got smaller Just guys, ask Egon. bigger guys. You have the Ghostbusters thing. You don't want Apocalypse nah. dogs and cats living together. None of that stuff. And I hear UFC, by doing this, is uh, succeeding quite well. Where'd you hear that from? R well? Well, you would assume that maybe the people at Spike would be a little annoyed about the fact that UFC is doing shows on Versus. They're not. They told the people at UFC, you know those sh those one-hour shows you do before your pay-per-views? They're making us those money. Those ratings make so much money. We're going to do at least 10 of those. Basically, every every time there's a UFC fight, you're going to get two free prelim fights on Spike TV. In fact, as we're recording this, one of them's on right now. What the? And so just a lesson out to all you out there who would like as much latitude as possible from the people you work for. Make them money. You make them money. You get people love you. They really do. People really love you. 
Uh, a lot of people may or may not be showing a lot of love for Brock Lesnar. And why would that be? Well, Lesnar's not returning yet. He's still suffering from diverticulitis. And so the UFC needs a new heavyweight champion. And so they set up a fight, which will have Shane Carwin, the guy Brock was supposed to fight, facing to fight. Frank, Mir Frank Mir on UFC 111 on March the 27th in Newark, New Jersey. That a city will, where the whole area is an MMA fight. Uh, basically true. <laughs> that Carwin will also have as his co-main event, George St. Pierre versus St. Pierre versus Dan Hardy. Uh, they don't really know what's going on with Lesnar. Lesnar doesn't have an internet connection. He doesn't like to talk to a lot of people. He, he's he Amish. He, yeah, he, might, he lives in Minnesota. He's, he's a, Amish. They're a little cliquish up there in Minnesota. Actually, we're making light of it. Uh, diverticulitis is a big-time serious a disease. disease but he's and Mr. Lesnar, if, if you're watching this, and I know you are, we wish you the best, and please, I'm sorry. Eat a lot of bran. Eat lots of bran. He doesn't Fiber. Have, he doesn't have an internet connection. He's not watching. Well, somebody will tell him. Anyway. What are we missing? Some guy named Henderson. Dan Henderson, he signed with Strike Force. He'll be making his debut on the next uh, CBS card. That'll CBS? Be in April. That's He'll a major have, network. That's a major network. You'll have yeah. Dan Henderson on that card. You'll also have the second TV match of Fedor Emiliano. Oh, you might also see. Uh, I hear Fedor's scary. Fedor is pretty damn scary. You think he scare me? Uh, he could. He have probably you seen could. Him? He's pretty scary. I think so. He's scary. Fortunately, I'm not a fighter. Well, I'm good because he'd probably kill you. <laughs> I'm a drinker. I'm he not a fighter. Me too. Well, Fader drink. No, he's a Russian. Well, yeah, he's, uh, yeah, yeah, he's okay. a Russian. Yeah, he drinks. Yeah, lots. Yeah, he drinks. He drinks. Okay. So what else we got? That's all we got. Ken. That's it. That's it. That's well, all we got. Well, hot darn. You want to hear more? You want to see more? Go to the website, yes. which is Sarah. Again, www.myalternatereality.com. This is Your Eminence, the Cardinal, and Bo. And remember, folks, you know. Every time I do these stories, and we do these stories on YouTube, and we post them all up on the web, the longer version of the stories with extra details are on the website. So if you want longer versions of the stories, go there and check it out. Check it out all the time. I send uh, the comic book in a whole bunch of stuff. He posts them whenever he gets around to it, but I send him a whole bunch of stuff. You're going to get us in trouble. Probably. Anyway, that's anyway, the two of us wishing it. you happy 2010, happy fighting, and see ya! Hey kids, your TV pal comic book man here to remind you that the January alternate reality hero of the month is none other than... The Incredible Hulk. That's right, all my Incredible Hulk trade paperbacks are 25% off all month long. Not the junky ones, not the overstock, not stuff I can't get rid of, but every single Incredible Hulk trade paperback in the house is 25% off all January long. It doesn't matter whether he's green, gray, red, purple, orange, hulked up, uh, scarred up, she hulked up, screwed up. They're all 25% off all month long here at Alternate Reality. Alternate Reality is located at 3149 West 111th Street. That's the intersection of 111th and Kedzie in Chicago, the beautiful downtown Mount Greenwood neighborhood. You can always reach us at 773-881-HERO or at the store's website, www.myalternatereality.com.